Since I last saw you, my life has kind of de-evolved into piles of stuff. That's my Hema pile over there, my LARP pile right there. I think that's a pile of clean clothes. I hope that's a pile of clean clothes. My diet has been going exceptionally well. I have more energy, I just feel better in general. Also, this has become my most favorite snack. It's just a rice cake with cashew butter and some sort of berry on top. It's delicious and apparently nutritious. Mm -hmm. Back in the beginning of April, I took a trip to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I practiced with the Broken Plow Pit Fighters. Hi, my name is Josh Paris, and I am an instructor for Broken Plow Western Martial Arts in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Well, Broken Plow is Pittsburgh's first and only HEMA school. Uh, we are affiliated with Pittsburgh Sword Fighters. We offer basically all things sword. We go from Roman gladius all the way through contemporary modern sport fencing, Olympic style fencing. We have Broken Plow, as I said, uh, based in the German art form. Uh, Corsair kind of encompasses all things that are Renaissance, rapier, dagger, uh, side sword, or things like that. And then we go up to On Guard, and On Guard is our modern fencing program. We're one of the few schools that's fortunate enough to have uh, our very own space, and it's quite a large space. Uh, we also share with OMP Wrestling, uh, so we're kind of like this sandwich of awesomeness uh, with ground and pound below us in the basement, uh, swords up top, and a chocolate factory in the middle. So it's, you know, it's the perfect scenario. They also made fun of me because I couldn't touch my toes. So Josh and Jim had everybody else touch their toes except for me. Uh, let your hips fall, take your butt in the air, and the rest of it is just extension of the arms and let the shoulders roll forward. If you need help working on this technique, you are going to grab your ankles and kiss your ass goodbye. Slowly pull yourself down there. So you exhale out, let your ribs kind of go in, let everything fall forward, and just keep doing it. So I totally reached one of my goals. I can touch my toes! I can touch my toes. Apparently I was just doing it wrong my entire life. <laughs> that totally figures. Tournament fighting uh, is just a, it's a different beast, you know, it's separate from the martial art. The martial art is the study, it's the martial study of, uh, of the sword. Uh, tournament, unfortunately, is, is a game. There's a rule set when there are rules rules can be exploited. Everybody knows that, it's, it's, the, it's the necessary evil, but you want to get out there and you want to fight these people and get to show people, this is what I learned, and then you get to go, ah, shit, that didn't work at all, or you get to go, oh, that was totally awesome, I got this covered. While I was visiting, I was also helping Josh put together his Kickstarter for the 82nd mod. So the 82nd mod is just this plastic that's attached to like a regular fencing helmet. Uh, it definitely offers a lot more protection, especially in the back. It's on Kickstarter currently and it will be until April 12th. So if you're interested, there's a lot more information there, check it out. One topic that has been coming up for me many times has been the HEMA nickname. Are there rules about HEMA nicknames? Can you name yourself? Or does somebody else have to name you? I've been called Giant Slayer, which I like a lot. And I've been called the chick, which I don't like a lot. I've also called myself Sand Snake. So if you've got a nickname, definitely share it. I am going to try to dismantle some of these piles so I can walk out of my room. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, check out my Patreon page, all these good things, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.